Meet your old buddy Casey Jones at the fair today at the Care 11 booth. Hey, look who just walked in! Look, look who's who here! Just walked in. It's Casey Jones! Hey, Casey! <laughs> Casey is here with us this morning, and we'll be chatting with him live in just a few minutes. Casey, so glad you're here with us. I know you came down from Brainerd. Meeting and greeting all the crowd members and he has here. And he has a grandbaby here. He has here. his granddaughter is here, family members here in the audience, which is just absolutely wonderful. That's his granddaughter right there, if you can believe that or not. There's so a lot of history there. We're going to talk to Casey, how Hayes are you? Glad to on. see you. Hi, Casey. How was the, Good to see you, Casey. How was the drive down from uh, Brainerd? You can't get there from here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just fine. And uh, there's a lot of traffic coming into the fair. And I had a media pass, you yeah. know, that uh, uh, Tim Stanko signed, got me. And uh, But everything's filled. Well, and, you know, uh, I think the crowds are so big because they're here to see you today. <laughs> what do you think about that? You think so? Well, wow. Boy, th th this is uh, just like the old days. Because we used to do, I uh, did a remote for our television shows here for many, many years. And uh, my partner was Roundhouse Rodney. You remember Roundhouse? Yeah. Well, uh, we used to come in on a different animal, like on a, uh, uh, an elephant and an ostrich. And, and don't ever ride a camel. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard to light. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're a mean animal. But anyway, we always had fun, and it's so great. And thank you for having me on the oh, show. This is pleasure. great. Oh, thank you very much, Casey. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to congratulate Casey because in October he will be inducted to the Minnesota Broadcasters Hall oh. of Fame. Oh. Casey, wow. we're gonna let you catch your breath, and we'll be back to talk to you in just a little while. Let's hear it again for Casey Jones, Casey ladies Jones. and gentlemen. Wow. What a nice surprise. That's a great piece of living history, That's I'll exactly tell you. Right? And you know, it all great memory. started with Channel 11. At w, WTCN. WMIN and then and WTCN. TCN. That's exactly Calhoun right. Calhoun Beach Club That's is right. where they did all that. That's yeah. right. And did you know that Lynn Dwyer, who was Roundhouse Rodney, was an Olympic skater? He was a, um, a figure skater. I actually. did not know yeah, that. Yeah, he was a figure skater. I and did not know. Well, you're older than I yeah. am. You'd remember more of that. <laughs> There. Says a dozen different things. A dozen different things. A dozen different things. A dozen different things. Hey. He's one of the most beloved figures in local television history from 1954 to 1972. Casey Jones entertained thousands of Twin Cities children with his unique comedy and upbeat songs. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the one and only Casey Jones. Known in real life, of course, as Roger Awesome. Roger, it's a pleasure to have you with us this well, morning. Roxanne, what a pleasure to be with you. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here and talking to you. I grew up in St. Paul and watched you every day, my, me and my well, four brothers, well, and it's I just know, a hoot. Uh, that name, Battle, is a very famous name oh, around well, here. well, I don't know about Including that. Including you, you Roxanne. Hey. <laughs> and and you. my, how pretty you are. Oh, Isn't my. she gorgeous? <laughs> yeah. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. I live up, uh, you know, I was on Channel 11 here, you know, started back in 1953 and 54 uh, in St. Paul at the Ham Building, maybe some of the older people remember, sure. WMIN TV, then we merged with WTCN TV, then we went through many owners. And now, of course, Care 11 is doing better than ever, and boy, you're doing great. Well, we isn't that a great, that. isn't that a great television station? You know, we have a very enthusiastic crowd we in front sure of us do. this morning. You brought some of your own family members yes. with you today. Let's take a look at All who's right. with you. Yes, well, I see them. They're oh, too bad they got such bad seats. No, they're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who did who you know? This is, this <laughs> no, is your, in the right. lilac there, that's your granddaughter. Yes, yes. And she looks just like my uh, daughter Amy, who just passed away here uh -huh. and a then little you, bit ago. But you, we got... We got you, Stephanie, to, to look just like her. You, you, uh, she's a sweetheart. You got a big smile. She likes yeah. those sweet potatoes. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. You also have your daughter and yes, stepson. Yes, my, my daughter and, my, and Greg and, and uh, the boys are there. And my son, uh, Bob, is over here with uh, his boy. And okay, great. <laughs> there they are. We wave, got wave, everybody wave, here. Wave there. Thank you. Yes. Roger, let's talk a little bit about Casey Jones. Okay. Uh, uh, anybody who spent any amount of time in the Twin Cities, you are a fixture, you know. 
You were on the air three times a day during your yeah. heyday, morning, noon, and lunchtime. Oh, you've you done your homework. Tried. Uh, you were 26 years old when you became Casey I've Jones. I've never been 26. <laughs> I'm 117 right now. <laughs> It was your idea to bring Casey Jones to local well, television. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh -huh. And how did you come up with that idea? Well, I had done a thing on, on radio. I started out on radio. Uh -huh. And uh, my first job was Detroit Lakes. And uh, I did a little uh, kid show uh, uh, called Storytime Express. Uh -huh. And those days we used records. It was just a little 15 minute show after school uh, for the kids. You know, and we played children's records. Well, yeah. But then when television first came in, I came down here, worked for Channel 4 for a little bit, then to Channel 11 when they went on the air. And there had been cowboys and there had been clowns, but a railroad engineer, you know, is a hero. I'm a hero. Right. <laughs> no, uh, you know, everybody wave. Don't you always wave to an engineer in the train? Yeah, so we thought uh, it would make a that good character. Be, yeah. And I didn't have to wear any makeup or anything, uh -huh. and just some old overalls, and well, you know, that's it. Talking about the character, of course, the, the real Casey Jones, it was, yeah, it it was it immortalized was, when he yes. met his on Tommy Demise in the famous Cannonball Run of right. 1900. Because he saved the lives of his passengers, yes. but lost his own life, if you remember that. Um, As a matter of fact, this cap I've got, I got from Jackson, Tennessee at the Casey Jones Museum. Wow. And I visited there. Yes. So you and do participate in the in the in the conventions and well, reunions. No, well, and no, not not yeah. not really, no. Well, you know, what you chose to make the character sort of goofy, sort of silly. Yeah. Well, yes. Uh, uh, these these were were different times, and people say, "Oh, why don't you come back on TV now?" Well, it's a different time, yeah. and uh, you know, television has uh, progressed a lot, and it's a faster moving, a lot of action, and we had a softer, life? gentler time yeah. uh, in the show, and that's the way the society was. And it, things change, and, and when you you try to bring things back, and they don't don't necessarily work. Your fondest memory of the times that you were on WTCM with, of course, uh, Joe the Cook and oh, Roundhouse yes. Rodney. Yeah. Oh, you're showing some scenes yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. Roundhouse played a lot of different characters. He was a great guy. And he passed away, you know, back in 1970. Jimmy Durante was a thing he did that was just great. And remember Oswald? Chicken that guy. Was, uh, My brother's yeah. nice and crack This is a that. funny bit. This is the upside down bit. Oh, this one was, uh, I can't dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just great. That's great. Well, we're going to open things up for oh, questions yeah. now. Does anybody have a fond memory or a fond question they'd like to ask Casey about the times that they were watching here on Twin Cities Television? Anybody at all want to talk to Casey? Want to ask him a question? Way up there. Can we get a microphone to him over there? You know, those were the days we didn't have producers. Uh -huh. and we did you the, produced the show. Oh, yes. We all, and we ad libbed everything. Never had a script. Uh, made a format out and, uh, and made that out in about three minutes. And we just ad libbed our way through. And wow. it was just uh, some great time. Yes, Hi sir. there. Yeah. I was on your show about 40 years ago. Do you remember? I remember. You didn't have, <laughs> yeah, you didn't have a mustache then. No, though. no. Uh, you, just a beard. Yeah. Yes? You oh. were on the, on the show? Yeah, yeah. It was the biggest thing in our whole neighborhood because <laughs> we ju I was the king of the neighborhood because I was taking everybody oh. to go to you know to your show at noontime for well, my birthday th sure thank you. Yeah, thank you yeah do you, well anybody i used to have the birthdays on every day you know anybody remember the happy birthday song <laughs> Can I sing that? Well, wait, we can, we're going to be oh, singing oh, a little oh, later. Oh, okay. I We've wanna... got some birthday Gee, kids. Oh, I forget. you have... got producers and directors yeah, yeah, and, and everything. That. Imagine you... that. Imagine that. You know. Okay, fine. <laughs> Go ahead, Casey. Go ahead. Why can't we hear it twice? Yeah. Go ahead. Let's do the birthday song. Wow. Let, let, let's see if I remember the words. Oh, happy, happy birthday to every girl and boy. Hope this very special day brings you lots of joy. Hope the birthday present you get from mom and dad will make this very special day the best you've ever had. Let's hear it for hey. Casey Jones! So, happy birthday to Eileen Sideways. Eileen Sideways. Happy birthday to Ben Dover. <laughs> <laughs> and all the boys and girls who have a birthday today. Thank you very much. Casey will be hanging around after the show to sign some autographs for you. He'll also be here at the Carol Evan booth at 5 o'clock. So if you at home missed Casey, you have an opportunity to see him again today at 5 o'clock. And as we mentioned at the top of the show, on October 14th, you, Roger Olson, will be inducted to the Minnesota Broadcasters Hall of yeah. Fame. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you. It's just oh, has been the light. You're going to stick around and sing the birthday song for us again, aren't you? Oh, okay. All right, great. Well, up <laughs> Let's uh, go over to Roxanne right now. She's going to start us with some first birthdays and all, and I'll join That's her for that right. in a minute. That's Casey has come back out. And Casey, I want to... <laughs> Casey's going to pull out his handy-dandy railroad watch and take a look at it. Look at that. Check you used to sell those old watch. back yeah. in the good old days. Sold them huh? for $3.95. And now they're, <laughs> it tells me that it's birthday time, huh? That's right. Are we going to do another rendition of the birthday song, Casey? Well, you, you want to hear it again? Yeah! <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Oh, happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday to every girl and boy. Happy Hope this very special day brings you lots of joy. Hope the birthday present you get from mom and dad will make this very special day the best you've ever had. Oh. 